Hello, your tech admin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft mods in Ubuntu. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to this Minecraft forums post here for MC Patcher. Make sure you download from the all other platforms header. This will give you just the jar file, which is what we need for Linux. Once you've downloaded it, head on over to your downloads folder. You're going to want to right click on it and go to properties and permissions. And make sure you tick this allow executing file as program. And then just double click it to launch it. Here you'll get this window here. It'll be it'll uh, analyze your jar file first down here. You see the progress over here to the right. Once that finishes, it'll present you with this screen here. Um, by default, it comes with several mods, which are okay, but um, for me, they seem to cause a lot of trouble. So I usually disable all of these. And um, next, the next thing you're going to do is press this plus down here and go to the folder where your mod is stored. Um, if you just downloaded it, it should be your downloads folder. So head on over to there. And here's mine here. And I had, I've had i already downloaded a mod here. It's REI's Minimap. I suggest you check it out. It's a pretty awesome mod. But you just want to select it like that. Press open. Press OK on the next screen. OK again. And you'll see it adds it to the list right here. It has a tick mark next to it. After that, all you want to do is press patch. You'll see it patching down here. It'll give you the progress. And afterwards, uh, it is done. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can head over to this logs area to, sh to um, see exactly what it did when it patched it. And over here, back on the mods tab, you can test Minecraft. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a really great tool for managing mods. Um, under Linux, and obviously there's a Windows version available too, so, um, you know, w whether you're using Windows or Linux, it's all the same all the way across. This is a really great little utility, and it makes installing and managing mods really simple. So, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, guys.